fucking wheelie the fucking thing. <laughs>what is up guys so today we have a little special kind of video so what i've done is i've asked ryan if i could use his footage of him doing a zero to 60 on his mt07 and now i'm gonna do three attempts to do my zero to 60 on my r3 and i haven't done it before i just did one practice to just to see because i put some vortex clip-ons on if you haven't been watching my modern videos or series for this r3 card in the right hand corner you can go check him out but i put them on so i'm still kind of just getting used to it but the only mods i've really got on is those vortex clip-ons some aesthetics like windscreen and fuel tank and stuff like that but the main one is my m4 full system so it is a full system technically it comes up to here but i've got some brand new headers on it to make it into a full system so it's a lot lighter than the uh the stock exhaust but he had he had a full acre exhaust on his mt07 so We'll see, his MT-07 is restricted, this R3 is not restricted, uh, this, all these specs will be on now on screen, and also down in the description so you can go through them all. Uh, the MT-07, because it's restricted, will do 47 brake horsepower, this I think does around 44 brake horsepower, so he's got a bit on me, but his is a little bit heavier, but pretty much, th that's pretty much it, let's basically do it, so as I said, only mods I've got is my vortex clip-ons and my exhaust and then it's just aesthetic stuff like nothing that would increase my performance it's not tuned for the exhaust just yet i will be doing this 060 all over again when i've had it tuned when i've put all my new mods knn air filter oil filter all of that and we'll see how fast we can get it now i think his time his fastest time was under five seconds so that's gonna be a hell of a ass for this r3 because from all what the magazines say, it does it around five seconds or just after uh, about five and a half seconds. So we'll see. I've got what I've done as always: my Alpine Star boots, some new Alpine Star gloves, and my full piece and my helmet. That will be all in the description as well. I've done a zero to sixty on my my KTM, zero to sixty on my Grom. Um, I will do a video comparing the difference between a three twenty cc and a uh, one two five. Like you'd be surprised in the difference in in power. But anyway. We'll get this going. I've got the missus over there with my other camera and my zoom for when I do this flyby. Um, but yeah, let's start this up. So I'm still trying to, like the new, the clutch is in a different place now. It's a bit lower down because of the vortex clip-ons. Okay guys, I quickly want to add a couple of things into the video. I apologize for all the wires that are covering my speedo. I added some Oxford heated grips onto my vortex clip-ons and didn't have time to plug them in, but really need to do the zero to 60 that day because we don't get much sun in the UK. So I really apologise for that, but I have paused the video frame by frame to get exactly when it hits 60. So I promise you it's I've stopped the time exactly when it hits 60. If you wait to the very last 0 to 60 I do, you can see clearly it hits 60. You can see my speedo very clearly. I also want to say that timings may be slightly different on his video to mine. That's just because I've used my Sony Vegas timer instead of his. Um, just to make it as fair as possible compared to my R3. But that's pretty much it. Enjoy the video and I will see you, well, in the next second. But, yeah, peace. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. I saw that in a different I saw that car in a different vlog. <laughs> That's cool. Right, two more attempts. See what we can get. I don't think that's under five seconds just yet. I'll try and shift without using the clutch this time. See, that's any faster. 
that sometimes it doesn't like changing into into third from second doing it. But we'll give it a go. It does need a tune. As soon as I tune it, it'll be a lot, lot faster. So if you haven't already, make sure you are watching my modern videos because they're doing really well at the moment and I've, I've bought a hell of a lot of mods for this thing. If you're wondering, my M4 exhaust does have the baffle in. It will make maybe a little bit of difference with the airflow, but not a great deal. But yeah, that's the only performance mod I've done on this bike. I also need to get a new sprocket and chain. Here we go, right, without the clutch this time. I don't know, I don't know what's faster. We'll see, but anyway guys, that's all my attempts done. If you have enjoyed this video, please, please hit that thumbs up button. Thank you to Ryan for letting me use his clips of him doing his MT-07 uh, 0-60. I think he beat me. <laughs> I think that MT-07 restricted is faster, but I hope that if you're wondering which one to get between the M207 and the R3, maybe that's given you a little bit of insight and uh, uh, a thought towards what you'll get, but I'm going to do a couple more just for fun now, because I'm quite enjoying this. But yeah, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more. I will see you in the very next one, which will be on, I don't know, in a couple of days, either on Wednesday or a Sunday, whenever this comes out. But thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. I love you very much. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Here we go. Without the clutch this time. Gonna do it right in front of that fucking cop. Oh, has he kept going? Yeah, he kept going. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I was actually about to pull over there and um, <laughs> about to start.